Wrestle Slam, the podcast brought to you by Sportsmanners TV. We're in Limerick, we're in Dolan's Warehouse, iconic venue here in Munster. I'm joined by one of the greatest, the greatest, a man that we absolutely adore, fan favourite all around the world, Foxy. Welcome to Limerick. I'm loving the t shirt. Um, Hair Knox, the debut is tonight. There's a big atmosphere outside, people are trying to get in straight away. It's, it's, it looks really good, but look, what's it like to be in Limerick? It, it's been a long time since I've been in Limerick. Uh, Excited! Uh, I'm I'm actually really excited. It's gonna there's a really good feeling around uh, like not only with the locker room but like with the crowd that are, that want to see it. It's it's been a while since uh, wrestling has it. Actually, I don't think wrestling has ever had a permanent home in Limerick City. Yeah, we've always had different different promotions come and go. So it's nice to actually finally have a promotion to say we are Limerick based and uh, let let's start building. Up. Of course, of course, and like, there's so many great Limerick wrestlers. Look, obviously Steve Savage. We we we've seen stuff over the years, especially you. You've been in there, you've been up close. It's a great time to be alive. The indie scene in Ireland is absolutely hopping. And look, we had a bad two years pandemic. Look, there was talks that look stuff wasn't going to come back. We've seen you know some sad days and some good days. But look, it's a great time to be an Irish wrestling fan. Oh, absolutely, like absolutely, like everyone everyone had that low. Like it just the uncertainty of like. What am I gonna do? Are we gonna go back to wrestling? Are we not? Or what am I gonna do with myself? But like, uh, these last two years have really shown that like, Irish wrestling is there. It, it's back. Like we're we're trying to build this back to where it was and to bring it even further than it can than it can go. Yeah. So it's it, it makes me excited about where where wrestling is gonna go in our own. Of course. Like, absolutely. And look, you, you've refereed so many matches. Any idea how many matches you have refereed, bitch? Uh, Hundreds, a t- isn't it? That's it. Uh, I think it's a lot more than that. Yeah, like, yeah. That, that's tough. Like, uh, I've been doing this for... Geez, I've been involved in wrestling literally half my life, mm-hmm. and I've been a referee for 12 years. 12 years. Uh, so think of that. 12 years doing uh, every single match for yeah. that amount of time. Thousands. So that's in the thousands. Thousands. Listen, look, your, your fan base is incredible, right? We're massive fans, you know, we've been lucky enough to see you, you know, since the dawn of, you know, TTN, you know, in Cork, all around the country. You know, 2023 promises to be a massive year for you, but like, obviously the door is always open. You're open to, are you open to going to America? Is that something you'd love to do? Is that the goal? Uh, well, I, I'd, be, I'd be silly not to want to go to, like, the big companies, like, you know, like who doesn't? Like, yeah. Um, if the opportunity came by, I'm definitely taking it. Um, who knows where it might take it? Who knows? And it does. It, it it's a new challenge that I I want to take on. Yeah. And wherever like wherever is open up, I, I'm I'm definitely gonna go through that door. It's only a matter of time, Foxy. Trust me on that, my man. And look, we seen you in the ring, OTT, Sesh Mont Martina. Obviously, look, we were there. You were you were incredible in the ring. But is that are we gonna see more of that? Would you be open to having a few more matches? Because look. Great entertainment, you know what I mean. You know what you're doing. It, it's it's good. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I'd like to indulge myself and have more. Like and believe me, I do actually have a list of people that I would love to face off against. Yeah. Um, whether that actually happens, that's that remains to be seen. Mm-hmm. But like, I, I'm I'm very happy being being a referee. Like I love my job. Um, if if they are again like we bigger opportunities like if the opportunity presents itself or if it's if it's warranted so maybe you might see me wrestle again but yeah it's at the moment I, i'm happy like doing my job so. i respect that and you mentioned just there's plenty of people on your list who's top of that list if you could wrestle one guy if you want to kick someone or some like is there anyone that stands out anyone that's pissed you off in the ring or there's <laughs> probably been a few but anyone that you've uh, look I, I as i said i have a list and uh I don't I don't want to air them out because like it might, not happen. might not happen. Okay. I, I know that like one that is like it, he will always be on my list and he's definitely one that I would love to have a match with. It's Terry Thatcher. Mm. Absolutely. Terry Thatcher, I, I would love to have a match with. I love it. So You have a lot of respect for Terry as well. Yes. Respect that. I respect that. Exclusive, you hear this? The man, the myth, the legend, you know, known all around the world, especially in Ireland, we're massive fans. You know what I mean? The greatest referee in this country. And look, NXT, All Elite Wrestling, Impact Wrestling. Look, you know where he's at. 
You know where he's at. This man deserves it. Thank you. We appreciate it. Appreciate it.